team. Today I'm going to show you how to remove a cooking range burner, how to replace the burner and the tips. First you have to remove the pan from under the cooking range, set this aside. Put the second off, you want to make sure that the gas valve is turned off. The on off gas valve located right here is in the off position. Second, you want to make sure that you have a good pair of channel locks or you want to make sure you have a good pair of pipe wrenches that you can remove this union with. What is a union? A union is right here, as you can see, and it's designed to loosen and remove the entire assembly on the back side of the union so that you can take it out and work on the burner. Always remember when you're removing parts to always pull down, never push. That way if your hand slips off the wrench, you won't bust your knuckle on a piece of metal. Once the union is loosened, as you can see here, the burner is ready to remove. Sometimes on newer stores, the burner may have one or two screws holding the cooking burner in. You may have to remove those screws, but shortly after the burner's been used for 12 months or so, these screws in, these, in the area of the burner break off, and most of the time the burner's laying in, in place. You have to remove or hold down on your pilot tube. The pilot tube is located right here. As you can see, this pilot tube is missing a tip but this is what, what you light when, you're, when the store opens in the morning. This is your cooking burner. A uh, common problem with these burners are the tips. Many of times the tips will work their way loose and gas will leak from around the base of the tip and create a flame. And you don't have a strong, strong flame when it comes to your, to your burner. So one of two things, you can purchase one of these flame burner files from Edward Don. And these files are designed to insert into the center of the tip. And you can file out any carbon buildup from the flame so that you have good gas flow inside the tip. I strongly recommend not replacing the tips because when your burner gets to the point where you need to replace more than one or two tips, it's better off just to replace the entire burner because the total of the tips and the cost on all the tips actually exceeds the cost of the entire burner. If you need to replace the burner, the hardest part is removing the three quarter inch black iron pipe from the burner. So the best thing I can tell you to do there is if you have a plumber's pipe wrench the pipe wrench is much stronger than the crescent wrench. In some cases, if you're very strong, you can use the crescent wrench to remove this from the burner. But the pipe wrench is the best way to go. And then you ask probably a second question, well, I'm not Hulk Hogan, so I can't hold this side while I'm trying to take this side off. And that's a good question. So what I recommend, many stores, if you have a dumpster pad and you have a baller steel pole in front of the dumpster pad. You can wrap this with a towel like this, maybe a couple of towels. And you can slide this between the wall of your dumpster pad wall and the baller. It's in place, it can't go anywhere. You have your pipe wrench you put on here and you torque down on it and you can unscrew this on the cooking burner. Another good idea to remove the pipe, worst comes worst, is there are a lot of Home Depots and Lowe's that actually will cut and thread this pipe for you. So if you 
you take the entire burn into Home Depot or Lowe's, many times you can get them to help you remove the pipe from this and or they can actually make you a new piece of pipe and insert in the new burner and then you can just leave this pipe in the old burner and dispose of it. A piece of pipe this long is going to cost a few dollars. I'd like to take you over here to the book. This is the maintenance repair kit book. And here you have all your different burners. You have your 20 tip burner for the blancher, your 23 tip burner for the small walk, and your 32 tip burner for the large walk, Chowmin walk. They have part numbers here. The best thing you can do to order a new burner is you go on a service channel, and you go to parts, and then you go to the last screen. And always remember to choose general restaurant equipment, not David Bonner. David Bonner, work orders go to No No Land, and you'll email me in three weeks and ask me where your parts are. And when I get back to you on your email in a few days, and I tell you your parts were assigned to David Bonner and not general restaurant equipment, you have another 14 days before parts arrive. So always be sure when you get to your last screen on parts that you pick the appropriate vendor by clicking the arrow and assign it to, for burners, general restaurant equipment. I hope this helps in how to replace a burner. If you have any other questions, always consult with your ACO or multi-unit manager and they can also help you. Thank you.